Hello and hey there everybody. What's going on and how are you doing out there? And hey to the chat here on Twitch. Hope everyone is alright and well enjoying your day. And this is Dirty Gamer here uh, for a how to format a USB storage device for the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, this is gonna this is being updated uh, as of today here, March uh, 25th, 2023, for this impending 3DS Wii U eShop closing that is just happening in March 27th, 2023, just in a couple of uh, two days or less than two days, depending on when you're watching this. Take time to shout out thanks to all my subscribers and followers. And if you are new to my channel or a new viewer, welcome to my lair. Uh, showing your support by viewing, liking up, thumbs up, sharing my videos, takes just a bond click, all would help my content to be seen. Have those bell notifications turned on, all is appreciated. I have been uploading videos consistently. For those new to my channel, new viewers, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitch, both are free. I appreciate you all for doing that. All right, so uh, making this video, uh, just as you can see here, I do have the uh, news uh, per the Nintendo site for the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS eShop uh, discontinuation closure. Uh, so just to make you aware, as of March 27th, it's no longer possible to make purchases. It won't be possible to make purchases in the Nintendo eShop for the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Also, no longer possible to download free content, including game demos. Uh, also, there's themes as well that also will impact that. And if you have uh, codes, download codes to redeem, you also need to redeem that because that also will not work after the date. Um, so it's just telling you also here about like not being able to use a credit card to add funds, which was as of May uh, 23rd and August 29th, uh, no longer to use the eShop card to add funds. So you need to do this directly via the eShop on the Nintendo on the Nintendo site to redeem your eShop code uh, to get it that way. And then um, now the one thing that it does mention here, uh, here even after March 27th and for the foreseeable future, it will still be possible to re-download games, DLC, software updates, and enjoy online play on the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS family systems. I'm a bit suspicious and concerned about all of this, so just to play it safe, try to like download everything that you can onto your systems as well as those updates. All right. Just a little FYI public service announcement for that part. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the capture uh, over to my Wii U. There we go. All right, so just to show you, um, I actually do have a, uh, I have a, a USB storage device already installed in my system. Now, just to make you aware, um, there is a bit of an issue or a glitch where if even though there are two USB ports on the Wii U front, the front of my my system for the Wii U, which I have a Wii U Deluxe, the black version, um, you will you can only make sure you have one USB storage device connected to the unit because there is a glitch, and if you're not careful, you could possibly overwrite and format like uh, the other USB storage device if you're not careful. Um, so what I'm going to do here, as you can see. Um, there's that wrench right in the middle that I'm at, the start uh, for that system settings. So that's where I'm going to go next. Um, cause, because of the fact the gamepad, uh, you can't actually move the gamepad uh, with this. So I'm going to go now and do that and hit that system settings on my Wii U screen. So now it's opening the system settings. And just remember, make sure you only have that one device. So as you can see here, um, this just details like what to go for the system settings. So now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to click on my gamepad to the right once. It's going to be data management. It's basically that uh, icon you see with like kind of the three windows. Uh, if you're looking on the screen, uh, it's, it's, it's that first thing right after the globe with the wrench. And then on the screen is going to have copy, move, delete data, and format USB storage device. But I'm just going to hit A so we get to the next screen. So as you can see here, uh, exactly what I detailed, the copy, move, delete data, format USB storage device for the setting. So for my purposes, um, I'm just going to hit the format USB storage device. 
And now it's just going to show, uh, see, proceed with my screen. This will format the USB storage device so that it can be used with this console. Please note this will delete all data currently saved to the USB storage device. So just to highlight what I mentioned earlier, you just want to make sure you do only just have one USB storage device in the system. And I'm going to hit next. In short of the USB storage device you wish to format is the only one connected to the console and then select next. So it's checking USB storage device. And now it's asking to format this USB storage device. Select check data to view the data currently saved to this USB storage device. For my purposes, I'm just going to hit next. But if you wanted to hit check data, you would hit the Y button. This will delete all saved data from the USB storage device. Once deleted, this data cannot be recovered. Are you sure you want to format this USB storage device? Format and then in big red and select yeah and hit A. So it is formatting. Do not disconnect the USB storage device or turn off the power. All right, formatting complete. Took a little longer than I thought. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next screen for copy, move, delete data, just to make sure everything on there is showing. And yes, it does. So um, I do have on my USB storage device one, it does show 115 gigabytes of free space. And as you can see on the screen, um, that's how it will look like on your gamepad for data management. It'll show you your system memory and your USB storage devices if attached. And that's what it shows. So I do actually have that um, free and open to now download for this impending uh, Wii U uh, shop closure. Um, and to make sure to get on that. So that completes the portion for this uh, formatting part. So again, uh, only of two days or less to get onto this uh, uh, Wii U and the 3DS eShop uh, to get those downloads and games if you're interested, as well as any free items and themes. So remember, includes all that stuff, all encompassing. All right, so this has been Dirty Gamer. Uh, for how to format a USB storage device for the Nintendo uh, Wii U uh, and uh, for the impending 3DS Wii U eShop closing on March 27th, 2023. So yeah, uh, just let me know if you're planning on making uh, any less purchases from that from the shop and uh, how you feel about the closure overall. And uh, let me know if you or somebody know I like any birthday, shout out, comments, or questions. You can answer any all by dropping a comment on the video. Uh, liking up the video, commenting, subscribing, sharing my videos all help with co my content to be seen from my YouTube channel, Dirty with Two R's Gamer. Have those bell notifications turned on. I also live stream on Twitch, take comments, questions, give birthdays and shout outs, which I'm doing here. And please follow me, also free, and join my live streams, chatting gaming sessions at the username Dirty with Two R's underscore Gamer. All is appreciated. And for super thanks, would appreciate donations via my link. All right, that's going to do it. Later to all and to the chat here on Twitch. Get your game on and your game dirt. Please don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. All is appreciated.